hey everyone welcome back to another new exciting video i have found another open source alternative to n810 and its name is sim sim and it is completely free and open source here you see this is their github repository and here you can build any kind of agent and deploy it and by the way i am not promoting this product i have found this helpful and it is an alternative to n810 and also open source you can do the setup locally there is no money required required so that's why i am making this video for you guys and here you see that i have already made one workflow this is one my search agent and i am using this model as the open router deepseek free model so from here i have got this api key and i have used it here and also here i am using my own knowledge base i have uploaded my own pdf file and from there i am reading that so basically i am using that rack procedure and on the right hand side here you see that i have got this kind of response the structure response and uh, on the top i have uh, this run button if i click on that then this then this whole workflow will be completed and i will get the response within one to two second okay and not only this there are multiple templates are there here you see that you can follow and you can build any kind of complex workflow and on the left hand side here you see that image to video workflow and this default agent is my own uh, agent that i have made okay and also here you see that on the left hand side uh, if you follow my cursor there is a agent api condition function so in this api you can connect your own third party api and also in this agent you can build the agent like the search agent or image to video agent and uh, we have this function knowledge base in case of knowledge you can upload the documents and uh, in this memory you can store it uh, as a future reference and also we have this response and also if you want to connect it with your daily use apps like gmail calendar google docs and uh, jira and there are many files like notion is there outlook is there perplexity if you want to connect that then you also you can do that okay so let me show you that how to use it from the scratch first of all go to this link sim.ai and you will find this uh, link in description go there click on that and you will find this kind of interface so just click on the start now button and also if you want to run it locally then i have given this github link also in description go there and if you scroll down below here you will find this uh, local installation procedure in that case you need uh, to install this uh, docker and the procedure is simple you can follow this but uh, i will prefer to go with this web version sim.ai because that is it is very simple and there is no setup installation is required now click on the start now and it will ask you uh, for the email and when you provide your email you will find this kind of interface and uh, this is a blank interface that you will uh, get let me show you that here you see this is the blank interface you will find this kind of start and here we have two options run manually and chat and on the right hand side here you will find this run and beside that we have this deploy as api and we have this bug fixing and that you can click on here and you can run it in the debug mode and you have an option to this uh, delete workflow and beside that means below it we have this chat console copilot and variables so follow my cursor in this chat option you will find the output so whatever the workflow that you have set up that output you will see in this chat option beside that we have this console means uh, if you have printed anything in console there then also you can see that here now beside this console we have this copilot option and now if i click on it here you will find that build edit and optimize workflows that means if you have any option or work workflow in your mind and uh, you are not getting that how to build that workflow then you can get help from this copilot also there is a some option like build and edit workflow and after that optimize workflow let's say you have built one workflow but you want to optimize that then this copilot will help you after that debug workflows 
let's say you have built one workflow but you are facing some problems then you can go to this debug workflow mode and it will help you and after that we have this balanced mode and this agent mode also okay agent and ask just uh, you can select this agent mode so that it can edit in your existing workflow otherwise if you want to build it from scratch then you can uh, go from to this build and edit workflow okay now after that we have these variables let's say you have used one variable like api key the third party uh, pace url or api key that variables you can store it in this add variable option and you can read it uh, from this portion okay now let's build one workflow now on the left hand side you will find this uh, agent api condition all of these things now on the left hand side you will find these settings now if you click on these settings here you will find this uh, integrations okay now click on that here you will find that gmail google drive all of their options you will find the third party apps so click on this connect simply and it will connect uh, to your gmail account and google drive google docs etc and uh, after that you can use that here also and another thing is that if you want to use your own knowledge base then here you will find this knowledge option now click on that and here you see that i have already uploaded one technical report of long cat model yesterday i made a video on this long cat model which is the free sonnet for free cloud sonnet uh, and it is beating the other popular closed source model like gemini and kimi k2 also so you can watch this video and this long cat model uh, that technical document i have uploaded here okay now to upload that your knowledge base you can click on this create and uh, here you will find this name just provide any meaningful name and give it this description and after that we have this upload document so now click on this here and just upload your document okay and after that you will have to click on this create knowledge base and it will create your knowledge base here right now we have this knowledge base now we want to build the workflow now it is the starting this start workflow option okay now we will uh, connect that all workflows now what we want to build one a uh, chat application like the chat gpt so in that case what we can do what we need basically first of all when we will run this app, uh, agent then it will read my knowledge base or let's say it will uh, read my technical documentation so in that case we from we have to upload this knowledge so from the left hand side you will find this knowledge block so select this knowledge block here you see that knowledge block is here let me just zoom out it okay now here you see that operation operation is search yes and uh, from where it will uh, search so here you have to select your knowledge base and you will find this long cat technical report this is the technical documentation or knowledge that we have uploaded right now after that uh, what it will do so when you will you will ask any query it will read that knowledge base and after reading the knowledge base it will give you the response right now that response uh, who will give one agent so one agent will search the knowledge base and it will give you the response so from the left hand side select this agent okay so here you see that agent and now what you will do here you will find on model option so this model is currently gpt4 gpt5 now just scroll down and you will find this cork model and here we have this open router so here you can select any open router model let's say i am selecting this open router deep seek okay now after that you have to provide your own api key there are multiple free websites are there and and you can easily get this api key from the open router of uh, this website okay so go to this link open router.ai slash settings slash keys i have given this link in description make an account there click on this create api key and keep a proper name here click on this create and it will give you that api key and paste that api key here in this section okay in this section you have to paste it 
Now after that, what you have to do that uh, just uh, write in this way. Okay, let me show you. So in this user prompt section, just write that tell me about this long cat model. I have just asked one simple query and uh, also here you see that in the search query option, you can write anything related to that. Okay, so I have just uh, pasted the same things here also. Now my workflow is completed. Okay, now here you can provide one system prompt also. It is your choice. If you don't do that, then also you can use this workflow. Now on the right hand side, if I click on this run, you will see that uh, it will give you that output that you see. So just uh, let me make it long. Here you see in this content section, I have got this. Okay. Now if I just click on the show mode, now if you, you will be able to see the detailed response, this long cat flash technical report. And this is the 560 billion parameter mixture of expert language model designed for both computational efficiency, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So basically in this way, you can uh, build this workflow, build this agent. Okay. And instead of this technical documentation, let's say you don't have the knowledge base, you have found one beautiful URL uh, on the web. So in that case, you can uh select from the left hand side here one uh, another block and you can provide that api and uh, sorry you, you can provide that url and it will read that url and it will give you the response in that case that website will work uh, for you that um, that works uh, that knowledge base okay so I hope that you found this video helpful guys. And another thing is that if you want to get some ideas that how to uh, build some complex workflows. Now on the left hand side, you will find this template. Follow my cursor. Now if you click on the template, you will find some beautiful templates that people have created already. Here you see that uh, this is the image to video uh, workflow and this is the OCR workflow, okay and after that uh, there are many multiple workflows are there and you see that this is a google uh, spreadsheet workflow this is google mail workflow okay and this is another crypto news workflow that will provide you the crypto news for 24 hours this is another company analysis workflow so you will get the idea from this template option also and you can build that according to your need Okay, and also you will find that on various categories like marketing and the sales and uh, finance support. Okay, there are various categories that you can explore and you will get the idea and also you can do the filter from here upper section. There is a problem of zoom in and zoom out with the help of this uh, two finger um, in this uh, touch bar. So that's why I am not able to zoom it, but you can zoom in and zoom out from the right hand side uh, this three dot button by clicking on this okay and uh, also you can use your touchpad and you can do in this thing so that you can zoom in and zoom out this workflow section and also you can move it like this this is completely like the in but uh, it is free okay and you can do that setup in local also if you want me to make the video on this to set up it in local then just comment below in the comment section i will do that definitely okay and if you are new to this channel if you found this video helpful guys and if you want to get this type of videos more don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video also see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye